right, all right, all right. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> yet another day, yet another day. So today, I was thinking, should be um, doing another, well, mm, the thing is, I'm not sure what the, what the focus should be. Hey Lurib, hey Amir, so should we do not cyberpunk but just anything a uh, random theme and i paint light only lights only or we continue the cyberpunk line art stuff hey concept sam karathi bruno romanos quentin i'll find things how are you how are you just random theme yeah, Larib, I think so too. I think so too. So let's just do random topic. So any anything goes now. Hey there, architect. How's it going? Welcome. So, I'm open for suggestions, what to draw, so anything that comes to mind, I'll try to interpret it and paint it in 30 minutes. So we got one topic, which is Elephant Man, which is cool. And I want six topics, and I will roll uh, the dice, and uh, this is obviously pre-rolled, but I will roll it and decide which topic to draw. A bug imp, elephant man, and a demon berserker is zero to hero. What the? God damn it. Please not number four. <laughs> Cyberpunk bridge troll. Um. Mm. If there's not a number six, then yeah. But too, too late, Amir. Now it's number six. Neon Witch. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's roll and let's see. It's going to be number four. Number one. And it's going to be Amir's. Elephant Man. All right. Elephant Man. Amir snagged it again. Elephant man. Hey Yatsuki, how's it going? And Zielin. So close, so close. Amir, yeah, I know, right? Obviously rigged. Um. I was thinking um, the other day about like the importance of community and why. Hey, Georg, how's it going? And why so many people are not um, engaging. in a community. And uh, I think I think a lot of it Hey Algani, how's it going? Good morning. I think a lot of it comes from uh, ego. That like you're looking after number one 
which is you know which is you uh Georg, uh today i was thinking we could have gone paint with light or cyberpunk and uh lou rib was the first one to voice the opinion and he said paint with light so today i'm painting with light but we're going back to cyberpunk theme it's all good hey captain Paul's. Welcome, man. How's the baby? The baby. The... What's it called? What's it called? Petite... Um, what is it? Well, how do you say a little baby? Petite... Enfant? <laughs> Making French shot straight out, straight out of the... Straight out of the gates in the morning. Like, make-believe make French. That is great. No shame whatsoever. Hey, Hizra, how's it going? Sharsa? Or, yeah, it should be Sharsa. Or Sarta. If you're Indian, I guess. How's it going? Welcome, new people. Good morning. Glad to see a new face. Israel, yeah, man. I was um, I was out running this morning, and I what, and when I came back, I was just like in a puddle, so damn hot. And then the fact that everything was just hot, like temperature, just made you not stop sweating. <laughs> so like when you when you started. Just no end to it. Uh, Millefield, good morning. Israel, yeah. There's, um, there's many different styles. Um, today I, I felt like maybe to switch it up a bit, you know, to not making it stale, to just. One second. Um, where was I? I don't remember. Elephant man, obviously. He had some serious disease going on. And I'm playing it safe in terms of massive altering disease. Maybe I need to up the game a bit. Oh yeah, it was a change of style thing. Yeah, I, I just felt like it started becoming a bit stale. To do just diesel punk constantly. Um, so I thought, yeah, I don't know, why not? Why not today making it a little bit different? So today I'm painting with light. I mean, obviously not light, but I call it light only <laughs> painting technique. It's where you where you just think about masses with with light rather than and thinking about the whole thing together. It's nothing in like in particular like lights only type deal. But it's just fun. 
And I, actually, I could even have time today. I'm just seven minutes in. Um, maybe to switch to color. But I feel like if I would have, if I would have switched to color, I need to have a stronger base. Um, but for seven minutes, I'm I'm a pretty in a pretty okay sp uh, place. But I just wish I would have taken out the, what is it? Taken <laughs> larger, uh, would have gone bolder to make it look way more elephant man like. There's a little bit currently feel like a mixture of the, um, what's his name? Chunk in um, the Goonies. Hey, good morning, Gria. Gria, Gria. Uh, yeah, I was talking to... Uh, hey, Giacomo. I was talking about the uh, community at the very beginning of the stream. And what I wanted to say about that is like that there's so many people not engaging in a community because they are thinking about themselves all the time. It's like, what are your, you know, like, let's, let's take Facebook as an example. Uh, concept Sam, um, generally, no, I, I don't do that. Um, but the, the, um, the thing is like, if you subscribe to this stream, um, I'll give you a sketchbook section in the Discord, and there I will kind of give you more feedback than average. Um, that's a, as a thank you, you know, for subscribing. So that's one way to do it, or just join the Discord and post it and share your art. Uh, and there's usually lots of people giving feedback, or join the two-week challenge. And in the two-week challenge, uh, after the each two weeks, I do a paintovers. So that's another way to do it. Yeah, and the two-week challenge, the new one has been set, which is um, uh, indoor interior design challenge. Anyways, back to um, Lurib, yeah. Your point there is saying, oh, you should only post your best and not your trash. It's a valid point. It's a valid point, absolutely. But that's not that's not the point of... Um, that's like indicator of, of what I'm what I'm trying to say that everyone is is not engaging in community because of ego uh, and if you can like for as an example I always when I see something cool I share it I, I share it across many different platforms uh, you know to give who, who, the creator props um, and I see that a lot of people don't do that. Like, if someone posts something, they maybe comment or click like, and that's it. Like the the what is like what is the damage of sharing their art, saying, "Oh, look at this cool cool piece I clicked like on," you know. For you, you're not gonna lose anything by by doing that, you know. But the artist that did post it is gonna gain everything from it: more exposure, more potential people seeing it, and giving them a better better future. Versus, you know, it's it's like I. A lot of people just care about themselves and like look at my new art and then they look at the comments that they get on Facebook and and like that's it 
like it doesn't go any further than you know like interaction in a community and thinking this is the community i am in a community when i post my art and i see other artists comment but that is not really being a part of a community in that sense you know in the true sense <laughs> yeah, the world will collapse, yeah, for sure. But do you see my point, though? It's like the community, at, the sensation of community is like when you got your, each other's back, right? That's a community. It's like, oh, yeah, I can, t like, real world community. Like, you're living in a community. It's like, oh, yeah, sure. It's like, hello, person, I don't know you personally. But if you need help, I'll help you. That's a community. Otherwise, it's just strangers living in the same location. You know? And I'm a little bit like annoyed by it. That people don't like take care of the community. It's, it's so strange, like, for me, like, community is, like, something that's organic and, and growing. And for a long time, I've seen community just stand still, that it isn't growing because no one is, is like, a flower, watering the flower, you know? A lot of people post cool art and... and and that way, like, oh, the community is growing because there's a steady in influx of, of good work. And art station, let's say, putting it on the front page and people will go like, oh, look, mom, I made it. But the, one of the reasons why, for example, it stays at the front page on, on, on art station is people clicking the link. And it's, it's such a weird thing, right? And of course, you know, the art has to be good. Uh, don't post trash if it's going to be like, oh, hey, look at my latest work. But it's, it's that itself shouldn't be an issue, you know, if you post trash. Hey, Dev Burbak, yeah, man. Uh, I got a, yeah, I got a topic of elephant man. So I'm, I'm painting a self-portrait here. Jacob Mobley, yeah, that that uh, it's a bit weird. But like, I, I I'm, a, I'm annoyed by a lot of like self-centeredness in a community and yet a lot of people are complaining like that there is no community uh, <laughs> when they when they don't take care of the community it's like it's so backwards it's so backwards why are why are people yeah I don't know it's just like a today a really big rant, <laughs> like emotional rant about stupid people not caring about their own their own creature that they're growing together as a community, you know. Uh, Japomo, yeah, I mean, you post on your sketchbook. That's uh, your wife, right? Um, yeah, exactly. It'll it'll help them. I mean, uh, that, that that's the whole thing that's confusing me. Is like 
one of the reasons why there is an industry, why there is uh, gum roads, etc., is is people obviously want to earn money. Sure, uh, some of them are doing those for for the love of the community. Um, some of them are, let's say, giving gum roads for the sake of abusing the community. Thinking, okay, what's a good way to make money? Oh, I'll make a gum road, and and make my fellow community members buy it, and, and I don't care about the quality. I just make it good enough uh, for them to be wanting to buy it. Right? There's a lot of people like that 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 doesn't like. Okay, I'm gonna do my very best to have the best educational gum road, or like. What's the cutoff point where it's good enough for me to make money? Gria, yeah, absolutely. That's that's another thing. Like Art Station is like a community website, right? Where like you share your art between artists, but there is no like uh, community there whatsoever it's l just like hey look how good I am thing there's no help there there's uh, absolutely no feedback on the art station it's just butt slaps Israel, yeah, that's an, that's another interesting thing. Like, you feel the need to support someone by buying their their work, but like, how many times have you shared their art or shared their website? You know, that's that's an interesting point as well. You know, like. What um, like if you. It, we for disregard at everything we discussed, um, and uh, let me see. Uh, so disregard everything that that we've said, and and let's just think about it statistically. What would help the person more? You buy a person's gum road. Which means there's a, like a peer-to-peer -peer connection, just you personally and that artist that you buy the um, uh, gum road from. No one knows you bought that gum road. No one knows your reaction to that gum road. And only the two people interacting in that exchange is the person creating the gum road and you, right? What if, I mean, statistically, would it be better if you shared their art? Let's say you decided to share their gum road on social media 10 times. Okay, like, oh, I, I, I want to support this person. The gum road looks really, really cool. I bought it or I didn't buy it, but I, I want to help them. So you make a decision to share their URL with a post 10 times. So that's like, let's say every second day for two weeks and and that's your like contribution to helping that artist right or make a blog post or you know. wonder which one of those have actually better reach or support you know is it the person is it is it the purchase or is it the the exposure. You know. And now the whole like pay with pay with exposure type deal. <clears throat> but that's that's also a wrong way of seeing it in the sense that um 
you know, we're all artists, we need money to survive and so on. So you can't disregard that fact. But in terms of community, it's like how, how much community is there actually? We are, we are, we are like a, 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 a creature that exists on internet by singular entities just going in the right, the, in the same direction. We are not like, we're not growing together, right? We are, we are just kind of her, herding a herd in a horde in one direction, right? Which is a weird, weird thing to think about in terms of like community. One beautiful thing though, is uh, when you see workshops and the people coming to workshops and, 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 uh, and discussing, and then, then we are starting to actually see like the community aspect of it, like, whoa, there's actually people there and that cares about things. And, and a lot of times you're surprised by that fact that, well, you, there's so many who actually, you know, like there is a community and I, I would love to have the, the best solution of, of some sort of, <laughs> I don't know, a currency, community currency. You know, how much have you helped other people in your community? And you should gain from helping others, you know? Yeah, absolutely intentions. Maybe no, someone doesn't care about the community. They just want the cash, you know. Like, I won't name names, but there's a well-known artist that um, made an art book. And he's shitting on the community by not following through. And people have been waiting for, I don't know, how many years. And he still haven't paid them back or giving them the art book and people are still like I'll support you man uh, art community for life and I'm like that person clearly is taking from the community and using the the organism we are creating right it's, it, I, I hate that aspect now him as a person this artist that's a different discussion. I mean, I don't hate anyone, uh, but I strongly dislike the actions of the of him. You know. Which is like a shitty, shitty move. And he, this artist, is only successful due to it, you know, due to the power of the community. All obviously also his art, but it's like. It's crazy. It's annoying me. Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to mention the person though. It's it's you know. It's... There's no need to hang them out, you know. So please don't say. But yeah, like it, it it's such a shitty move. And uh, I'm I'm gobsmacked like by the love of the community that they're like still on his side. That just shows like in a way the beauty of the community is like there is a community there if it's like like imagine the power of of it if we put it to good use <laughs> you know i don't know it was just a it's a big old fat rant today I was an, I've been annoyed by it for for, uh, for a while, and I hate it, like 
I'm gonna go back to like good old days, right? Uh, good of the old days of conceptart.org, right? The difference there, this that was a community. That was actually people promoting each other, helping each other, and it wasn't it wasn't due to the platform. It was due to the people, right? People, the people there decided, like, okay, we're going to make this work for us, right? And and the people running conceptart.org, they had to react more or less to the demands of the community, and and not the other way around. Like, the, what was cool with conceptart.org, for example, is that they implemented functions to the website based on what what everyone started using like it's an interesting point like crowd generated content like on the forum for example everyone started adding their like top five sketchbook links in their uh, signature of a post so when you posted something you could get like links to things by each person and then everyone started doing that, and then they implemented actually a function later on on the forum where okay, here is this, the the slot where you put the links in, and here's a new function. I feel like I should say something, like smart. Should say something smart. Hey, Strauss, thanks for the raid, man. Last two minutes. I much appreciate. It. Thank you. So, so the community created that function, and uh, the people running the forums. Uh, they were like, all right, that's a cool idea. Um, let's implement it. Like, let's make it better. And that's, that's like a lot of the things I miss from, from those days is not the website itself, is the, the community that all the people there, like they, they, they set up like, um, meetups they set up uh like sketch 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 dates um all these things you know so that people would would meet and come together and and uh, you know help each other out and then secondly like the the website started creating a specific section for it uh hashtags for it or whatever whatever you know Hey, strawberries! <laughs> Fantastic. Th welcome to all you new people as well. Hello. Welcome to the end of the stream. <laughs> yeah, but to kind of cap off the rant about um, community, like I would really, really love to see a stronger community where the community helps each other uh, by by exposing each other using the power of of community imagine if we're like what 150 to 200 active people on discord what if each and every one of those people posted the link of someone's work on their other social media platforms that would be like an expen exponential uh, uh, advertisement for this artist. And then, you know, you rotate the person and all of a sudden, like, you know, how many people, I don't even know the math, uh, would be exposed for free, you know? And especially with you uh, new artists that, are, that wants to make it into the industry. It's like... I can think about like a bazillion things that would be cool to implement to help you guys out. Like uh, there, at the beginning of internet, there was um, web links, like you could put on your website, and you could go like click next, and you would go automatically to the next person's website. So you had like web rings, web rings that was called web rings, and like where's those kind of help helpful. Uh, discovery functions uh, for for you guys to help 
boost each other. You're all just kind of practicing in, in shouting the loudest. Like standing outside the room where everyone else is inside and screaming you're like, hey, look at me. Instead of like, hey guys, would you mind that you're all screaming? Could you all scream? You know, that would be a completely different impact. Uh, but, um, but no. Massive Black is an art sourcing studio, so it's the reverse. Uh, Conceptart.org was formed by Massive Black people. They wanted like a community or a joint uh, place where they could hang out in, kind of. Anyways, stream ended. Um, let's see. Let's see who can raid. Hey, Krubio24, thanks for the, thanks for the raid, man. Uh, follow, I mean. Titsunas, Titsunas. Hmm. <laughs> oh, come on. Creative, you can do better. ASMR. Oh, God. Oh. All right. I guess I'll just uh I guess I'll uh just end the stream then. <laughs> uh, raid myself, yeah. Yeah, the tits and ass game is strong on creative. I, I don't have five viewers, Tassos. Alright, thanks everyone for joining. Have a fantastic day. Catch you guys on Discord. Um, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Th thanks for the raid and uh, have a great one. Toodles. Mm -hmm.